The data is now so stark um, that anyone who looks at the data at all can see that we're in unprecedented times. And what has happened to my grief and distress has been people now attacking the trusted sources of data. And in the UK, that's us. Um, and so we see increasingly statements about all, all kinds of rubbish. Um, you know, everything, everything from your you're hiding the sensors in aircraft, in aircraft, in, yeah, aircraft jets to um, exhaust to, to show fake heating. So you've gone back and changed the past. So you're measuring temperatures on the ground instead of properly in a Stevenson screen. Um, uh, the, you know, the, just a just a raft of, of things that um, take us a lot of time and taxpayers' money to rebut because there's a name for this law and I've forgotten it, but uh, there's a law that says um, that basically misinformation can be produced in seconds but, but takes days to rebut. And th this is very, very true. Um, and so we have had to become, per force, um, experts in countering misinformation and disinformation and really, to an extent, quite thought-leading in, in government um, uh, and in convening cross-government networks to deal with this. Um, and although I'm speaking, I guess I'm speaking to the converted and, I, and I'm offering you some rebuttal, that isn't the best way. The people who firmly believe these things, they're not remotely interested in your, in your rebuttal. So the best way to maintain the extraordinary trust the Met Office currently enjoys is actually to be putting out the good stories. Here is the plethora of amazing ways we collect weather observations from deep ocean buoys to, to space to marine gliders um, to measurements in the Arctic, whatever it is, and put out the positive stories alongside the, um, the sort of people stories of you know, actually your weather station wherever you are in the UK you know, some expert person from the Met Office comes along and checks all the instruments and takes them back for calibration and makes sure the grass is the regulation height and um, assesses the, the surrounding area to make sure that things aren't encroaching and so on. And putting out those, those positive stories of how we do do it is a better use of our time and energy and more effective, we think, than rebutting the people who are not acting in good faith.